August the 19th, 2023. Guys, you're looking at, to me, is incredible images. This is the uh, continental U.S. You can see Canada there and part of Mexico. Several things are happening now. To the bottom right, you have the Caribbean system that's about to move in. Here, off the coast of Florida, you're seeing the system that's going to move into the Gulf and possibly bring Texas some moisture. But look at the outside feeder bands of Hurricane Hillary right here. It's still very far south of uh, L.A. But look at the moisture pattern moving up into this. This is live satellite imaging. So we're already into Utah. We're into Idaho, getting over into Wyoming. And it hasn't even started yet. The moisture's already pumping through. It's not that heavy yet, but guys, look at what's happening. L.A., this could be more rain and more flooding than they've talked about. Same thing with Mexico, especially along the Baja Peninsula. But right in here, you've got San Diego and L.A., and you're well past that as far as the initial cloud cover, the initial moisture that's in the air. But check this out as it moves closer. All of this is going to accumulate. Now, not only is this upper feed band very large, one of the largest I've ever seen, it's already from one of the side bands pulling moisture into the Gulf of Mexico right there. Check that out. So we've got this system coming in. You've got moisture building in with it. And, guys, maybe this will be a blessing to Texas. Look at the uh, moisture that's already in the western Gulf. You're probably along the southern tips of, or in the southwestern tips of Texas starting to see some moisture. It's very much needed in your area. Florida, you more than likely are seeing some rain coming in from the system that's here that's going to move into the Gulf of Mexico. Very wide image here, guys. Hillary is pumping here, moving north. You've got it uh, sending moisture off one of the feeder bands to add to the building moisture into the Gulf. Here's the system that's supposed to come in. Now looking at a Texas, uh, southern Texas hit system in the Caribbean. This one's already number six here. You can see how very tightly wound it is. This one's moving into the Atlantic, but we have a massive storm coming off of Africa. We're getting into it, guys, again, the 19th, so that means we are just about 10 days from the peak of hurricane season, but this will last until the end of November. Now, a little closer look at what's going on here. You've got the California border, guys. It's right here. The very top, this is Arizona. And uh, this is usually lighter moisture when you've got the yellows and greens and blues. And you start getting to the oranges and reds, you're a little more heavier rain. But, guys, the, if you're in California or Arizona or further north or in the Baja area or anywhere on the planet, especially in Mexico, let us know what you're finding out there. This moisture right here will build and will add to what's going to come around out of the Gulf. And again, Texas, it looks like you're starting to get some moisture here. Maybe just high uh, cloud cover for now, but look behind this. Now, taking a look at the Atlantic, guys, here in the Gulf of Mexico, you've got this system that's just off the tip of South Florida. You can see the storms there but it's a much wider area of circulation or rotation 50 percent chance of formation it, an area of disturbed weather located of the florida peninsula is expected to move into the gulf of mexico by early next week where a broad area of low pressure is expected to form some slow development of the system is possible thereafter and a tropical depression could form as it moves westward and approaches the western gulf of mexico coastline by the middle of next week Guys, look for this to be a little more than a depression, possibly a tropical storm, plus. So keep an eye on that. And remember, coming in from this area, we're starting to see feeding of moisture from Hillary. Don't forget that. It's going to add into it. Now here, you, we have a 70% chance of uh, formation in seven days. It says this is near the wind, uh, Windward Islands. Shower and thunderstorm activity continues in association with an area of low pressure near the Windward Islands. Some additional development of the system is likely, and a tropical depression could form by early next week while the system moves westward to the west, northwestward at 10 to 15 miles per hour 
over the eastern and central Caribbean Sea. Regardless of development, heavy rainfall is possible over portions of the Windward Islands during the next couple of days. Interest in the eastern and Caribbean should monitor the progress of this storm. Now, 6 is already a tropical depression, 35 knots. It's moving west-northwest at 14 uh, knots or 16 miles per hour. And the new large formation that's come off of Africa has a 30% chance. It says a tropical wave located near the western coast of Africa is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Slow development is possible while it moves generally west to northwestward across the tropical eastern Atlantic during the next seven days. Guys, it's very large. Now, it's pointed north, but it is south of the Cabo Verde Islands, if you notice. They're here. So it's a little so more southerly elevation than the storm that's in front of it. But, guys, we're just going to have to watch this. I don't want to make it long, but it looks like this weekend in the Gulf of Mexico and going into early next week, we're going to see a lot of activity. You guys in the Baja, in, in San Diego, L.A., all the way up through Nevada and to Utah, the storm is not even there yet, and we're already seeing moisture gathering in the atmosphere and possibly rainfall in many areas. So this is just going to continue for the next uh, two days at least. We're going to go into Sunday evening. It's making landfall up in California. And then as it pulls north from there, the tail bands are going to follow that with even more rain. But we're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.